Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome to The Geeky Sandbox. So before I head off to the gym this morning, I wanted to go ahead and kind of crank out a few videos that I've been wanting to do. Um, I've been doing a lot of comic book stuff lately and a lot of um, my lovely, lovely geeky stuff, but um, I want to get into a couple of indie films, specifically um, a movie called Wildlife, directed by Paul uh, Dano, which stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Carey Mulligan. And um, that's set to come out sometime in October of this year, I believe. I'll have some details in a second. But yeah, I really love and adore Jake Gyllenhaal. And I think I've seen like every movie he's been in. I know him and Robert Downey Jr., right? But... But I'm really excited about this one. I always say there's never a Jake Gyllenhaal movie where I don't shed a tear because he's just that damn good. So without reading the synopsis, let's go ahead and jump right into the trailer and we can talk about it afterwards. You know what they call trees in a forest fire? Fuel. You know what they call the trees left up when the fire goes by? They call them the standing dead. Mom is dead. Is dead okay? Of course he is. His pride got hurt. That happens sometimes. You don't have to worry about anything, Joe. There comes a time when a man needs something more to hang his hat on. I got this homicide in my head. I need to do something about it. You understand? I think your father has a woman out here. He wouldn't do that. No? Why do you think men do things? They either go crazy or it's a woman. I don't think that's true. People are drawn to things they shouldn't be. I used to dress like this all the time when I was younger. You know, it's probably nice to know your parents were once not your parents. Did your mother do something that you wouldn't like to have to tell me about? I feel like I need to wake up. What's going to happen to us? All right, guys, let's talk about it. Okay, so we saw Jake Gyllenhaal and we saw Carey Mulligan. The other person in the movie, the kid, I kept trying to remember what I knew him from and what his name was. His name is, I think, Ed Oxenbold. And he was in the movie uh, The Visit, the um, M. Night Shyamalan movie where uh, the kids go and visit their grandparents and something's a little off. Um, this is good. Like, I, I'm not quite familiar with any of his other work, but I'm excited for the simple fact that he was very silly and just kind of a, his character was a nuisance in that film. So it's nice to see that he's branching out to something more serious and something actually really special. I haven't even seen the movie yet, but just the direction that he's given these actors just from what we've been able to see so far it looks really good and for those of you who don't know anything about Paul uh, Dano he actually got his start on Broadway and he's done a couple of other films um he's done let's see There Will Be Blood he's done um Little Miss Sunshine he's also done um crap this one's a little bit more recent but the name's not coming to me Swiss Army Man that was the one I couldn't think of Swiss Army Man and he's also been involved with the movie uh Prisoners that has Jake Gyllenhaal and Hugh Jackman love that movie have it on dvd really good movie if you guys haven't seen it who knows maybe one day i might go back and do a review over it a lot of good layers and it has one of those endings where you can take it or leave it it really depends on how you feel about um open open-ended movies which i personally don't mind them depending on how they're executed 
So the movie is produced by uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Paul Dano, and it is written by Dano as well and co-written by Zoe Kazan. Uh, she played, um, I think, Emily Emily Gardner in the uh, the movie The Big Sick. So this movie comes out October 19th, 2018, and I'm so excited. I think this is one of those movies I'm going to go see by myself just so I can really just dive in and really enjoy the experience. And I didn't know this movie is a book. It's by an American novelist and author named uh, Richard Ford, and it was first published in 1990, and the synopsis for the book versus the movie are very similar. I'm probably going to uh, read the one for the movie in just a second. 14-year-old Joe is the only child of Jeanette and Jerry, a housewife and a golf pro, in a small town in 1960s Montana. Nearby, an uncontrolled fire, forest fire rages close to the Canadian border, and when Jerry loses his job and his sense of purpose, he decides to join the cause of fighting the fire, leaving his wife and son to fend for themselves, suddenly forced into the role of an adult. Jo Joe witnesses his mother's struggle as she tries to keep her head above water. This book has been described as disturbing, and I'm kind of interested in why, um, because I didn't get... Hmm, I did get a little bit of a like weird vibe from some of the uh, dialogue in the trailer, but I don't know how um, this book will translate, like if it'll be exactly the same or if uh, Paul and Zoe are going to like kind of just take inspiration from the book and make it their own thing. Um, that's something we're going to have to wait and see. I'm going to try to find out how long the book is because I do want to try to read it before the movie. That at least gives me, yeah, because today is September 17th, so that gives me a little bit over a month to try to read it before the movie is uh publicly released but anyways guys if you like this video go ahead and give me a like rating down below and if you're new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this one thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye